Oh, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. So this morning, it was reported by Frank Saravalli that NHL general managers are looking at different ways to potentially improve three-on-three. -three. I think we can all agree that three-on-three -three is not where we want it as a league. We expected it to be this high-flying action when it got introduced. That hasn't really been the case. Teams are kind of exploiting it now. They just skate around, wait until the opposition has been out there for a minute, minute 30. They get a change, they get fresh legs, and then attack. It, it hasn't been. It's, been. it's been very selective instead of the fast pace that we expected. So I'm going to run through some different ideas on how I think they could improve it. And then at the end, I'm going to tell you what changes I actually would make. So let's dive into it. Up first... It's kind of a half court red line rule. Basically, like in basketball, for those of you guys that don't know, once you cross half court, once you dribble it up, you cannot go, as long as you have possession, you cannot go back across behind that half court line. If I pass to my teammate once I cross that was still behind, that would be a turnover. So something similarly like that in NHL three on three, because right now you see it too much. Once a team is skating around, has some possession, but the guy's getting pressured, he decides to bring it out of the zone, go all the way back behind behind his own net and just get a change reset. Half court line would get rid of that. I, I, I think that this is a pretty decent idea. When looking at it, we see it far too often. These guys just reset, boring, 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 and basically just kill 20, 30 seconds off. I remember I, like whenever I watch the Edmonton Oilers, sometimes like teams, if McDavid and Dreisaitl are out there, they automatically just pull the puck wait 30 seconds, basically do nothing with it, just kill time until those guys are off the ice. And I think this would be a good idea right now. It, it, it would really it would really force teams to keep it in the offensive zone if they can't reset. You're, you're on the ice right now. You can't go past that red line. You need to score right now or else you're toast. You're going to you're going to get burnt. You're going to get burnt the other way. Next up, shot clock rule, shot clock. So let's say I think like a 30 second shot clock would be fair. Similarly to the half court line, it basically tells you once you get the puck, say you say you stop them in the defensive zone, you have the puck behind the net, you got 30 seconds to score. It's similar to the half court line. Maybe in this, you could bring it past that red line, but in 30 seconds, you're not going down, up, down. You need to get a shot off. Basically, right now, we see it too much. Teams are just holding for that perfect opportunity, waiting for that. And if not, they just bring it back out. A 30 second shot clock, maybe even 25. 20 seems a little bit a little bit too too small, but in a 30 second shot clock, teams would be far more offensive. Teams would probably shoot within 20 seconds most of the time, just just to not risk it. It would be a little bit tough to determine possession in terms of that shot clock. Like if there's a scrum, who's I guess I guess it just wouldn't stop, or it would, it would stop whoever had it. But I think a shot clock, if there's parameters around it, could be a pretty decent idea. The next up is just getting rid of the shootout in order to. Basically, get rid of the shootout and have ties. I've seen this one a lot. So the teams in overtime are trying to get that goal or else they're going to end up with one point. And get rid of ties, have ties, no loser point. So teams are going balls to the wall in overtime. I don't love this one that much. I'm going to be honest. I, I, I just don't like the idea of ties. Personally, for me, I think that it should be something, this point system should be something like three points for a regulation win, two for an OT shootout win, one for an OT shootout loss, zero for regulation loss. I don't like the idea of a tie. Call me North American sports fan, anti-Europe. But if I went to a game and it ended in like a 2-2, two, two, three, th two, two, three, three tie, I'd be pretty disappointed. I, I don't know. I, I like the idea of a winner. Uh, so I'm not a, I'm a huge fan of this. I see the logic definitely in terms of if it was a tie, teams would be going balls to the wall at the end, trying to get that goal. But also you could have a, a, a reverb of that of teams just playing for a tie like i could imagine that being a disaster if at the end of the season teams just need one point to get in they're playing each other and they i, I don't know that, that, that probably won't happen but I'm, I'm not personally for this one and then the last one is just having a longer three on three going from five minutes to say 10 15 i think this makes a lot of sense five minutes while three on three you should get some decent looks on a three on three for five minutes if you make that 10 minutes you're going to see far less shootouts, especially as players continue to get tired. You see far more lapses. You'd see far more rushes. It, 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 it would be very interesting if they made it like a 10-minute OT just to see the amount that shootouts would go down because I do think they would go down a lot. So in terms of what my solution personally would be, I think I would go half-court half court rule, shot clock of 30 seconds, and 10-minute overtime. I think you would see... 
with those in place, I think you would see like 10% of games end in a shootout. I understand you can't, I wouldn't go 15, 20 minutes or continuous three on three. I think that is a little bit dangerous. Once players get that tired, you could see some, some stupid decisions by players in terms of trying to injure guys, just players getting fatigued and, and getting injured. So I, I don't love the idea of continuous nonstop overtime because you would have like the, the one game that goes two full 20 minute periods or something like that. That would be a disaster. I understand why they want to avoid that, but I think 10 minutes would not be enough would, would not be so much more hockey that it's a really big problem. And I think it would make a massive dent in the amount of games that we see go to shootouts. So yeah, I'm not for ties. I'm not really for getting rid of the shootout, but I think there should be far more OT hockey and far more aggressive OT hockey by having that half court rule or shot clock rule. I can see you just going longer OT in one of the shot clock because I feel like the half court and the shot clock kind of do the same thing for the most part. Once you're in that half court, you're going to get a shot off probably in 30 seconds. You're probably not going to be able to hold it for like a full 45, 50 seconds. So maybe just one of each, one of those, and then the longer OT. But let me know in the comments, what do you think about these suggestions? What would your plan be to make overtime just better overall? Should there not even be overtime? Should it just end after regulation? If it's tied, it's tied. I want to hear from you guys, and I will be seeing you in the next one.